Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3, back with another kicking, you guessed it, graphic novel review. Today's trade is The Immortal Hulk, Volume 1. Or is he both? Uh, I am going to give you a quick read-up of the back of the book, as I often do. Horror has a name. You'd never notice the man. He doesn't like to be noticed. He's quiet, calm. If someone were to shoot him in the head, all he'd do is die. Until night falls, and someone else gets up again. The man's name is Banner. The horror is the immortal Hulk. And trouble has a way of following them both. As reporter Jackie McGee tries to put together the pieces Banner treads a lonely path from town to town, finding murder, mystery, and tragedy as he goes. And what Banner finds, the Hulk smashes. Elsewhere, the hero called Sasquatch can't help but feel involved in many ways. He's Banner's equal and his opposite. Sasquatch is about to risk his life by looking for the man and finding the monster. Collecting Immortal Hulk, 1 through 5, by Al Ewing, who's a fucking genius, by the way. Joe Bennett, Paul Horschnemeimer, <laughs> uh, Marguerite Sauvage, Gary Brown, Roy Rui, Rui, Rui Jose, and Paul Mounts. Plus material from Avengers 2016, number 684, rated T for Teen, uh... But it's pretty horrific. I think teenage, uh, teenagers can handle it, though. Uh, yeah, so the Immortal Hulk. So, you know, this is kind of after uh, Bruce Banner and the Hulk come back to life. They were dead for a while, but eventually they did come back. Remember, Hawkeye killed them in um, Civil War II with a special arrow that Bruce designed and told Hawkeye to use on him if it ever looked like he was going to turn again. But now he's back, and a different Hulk personality is the dominant one than you're used to. The Devil Hulk is the dominant personality, and he is super cruel. He punishes the guilty. He really punishes the guilty. Uh, and he and Banner kind of have, they kind of have an agreement. Banner goes about his day uninterrupted by the Hulk. Even if he dies. And then at nighttime, he becomes the Hulk. And comes back to life. And we see him fight and talk to this gamma irradiated guy who's been killing people. We find out that he irradiated his son with Gamma, uh, which killed his son. But when the body was exhumed, the son was still alive, and the Hulk did something absolutely horrible to the father. There's also this reporter running around trying to get the scoop on the Hulk, but she also has a secret history with the Hulk, and she finds out that people perceive the Hulk in many different ways. The Sasquatch is looking for the Hulk, because... You know, Sasquatch was created by trying to replicate Bruce Banner's experiment, but he kind of did it in a place where the walls between our world and the spirit world were thin, so he got the Sasquatch instead of a Hulk. Uh, he didn't have the dual personality. At least it seems that way for a while. But then he had it, and it got like taken away. And there's all this stuff with the green door, which is something that gamma-irradiated people, gamma-mutates, keep uh, running into um, and it's it keeps bringing them back to life whenever someone with Gamma dies they get brought back to life by this green door Sasquatch goes wild and there is a twist it turns out Sasquatch isn't Sasquatch it's someone from uh, Hulk's past someone who's been in Hulk's life forever uh, really wild stuff and a lot of cool things about the green door. Like, there is a lot, lot, lot going on here. Uh, we get to see some Brother Voodoo, which is always really welcome 
I like Brother Voodoo. I think he's cool. I think he's more interesting than Doctor Strange. Uh, I don't. I feel like we never see him enough. But that's basically it for uh, the Immortal Hulk Volume One. You know, I don't want to tell you too much, but it's really good. It's it's got a lot of like grotesque horror stuff, and it just gets worse from there. Like this book is pretty tame compared to what's coming up, because what's coming up is like full on some of the best body horror I've ever seen and probably the best body horror I've ever seen in comics and I've seen some fucked body horror in comics I just really liked it I'm glad that Marvel is committed to making the Hulk a monster book again and I don't know if all of you have noticed but both Marvel DC and kind of the comic industry in general is moving towards monsters and horror I'm sure you'll notice IDW brought their Godzilla books back, and then DC put out a bunch of deceased stuff. We're about to have that book with Red Hood leading a bunch of zombies on a mission, and uh, like DC versus vampires, and all this stuff, and like Marvel's taking its monster characters and kind of putting them at the forefront of everything, like. For a long time, the Marvel Universe was kind of revolving around Venom. Uh, we're getting Carnage book after Carnage book. Because uh, we had, like, Absolute Carnage. And then we had Carnage uh, Red, White, and... It's not called Red, White, and Blue. It's Red, White, and something else. I haven't read it yet. And now, we, now at the time of recording this, what just started was Extreme Carnage. Like, Marvel is putting everything into symbiotes. And Hulk is having a ton of stuff. And both the Donny Cates Venom run, which is over, and the uh, Al Ewing Immortal Hulk run, which I believe is also over. I read the trades, so it's a little harder for me to tell when it's stuff ends. Uh, they're both over. They're both over. I'm pretty... I know Venom's over, but I'm pretty sure Immortal Hulk is over. Because Al Ewing, who writes Immortal Hulk, is now writing Venom. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, Marvel has just given us monster stuff. And Marvel knows monsters. They're roots are kind of in monsters uh and i think that's very very dope that we're getting all these monster comics now, i don't know if you've noticed but the superhero fad is starting to wane a little bit and uh monsters are getting really popular and that makes me extremely happy because monsters are my main thing so that's it that doesn't mean i'm not going to review superhero stuff though i'm still going to do that forever so that's it for immortal hulk volume one uh, or is he both? Thank you all very much for the support. Uh, if you would like to check out my upcoming book, uh, All Dinosaurs Go to Hell, uh, that will be on my Kindle author page, which you can subscribe to uh, via one of the links in the description below. Uh, it should be the first thing in the link tree. So that's it. Thank you all once again, and I'll see you all next time.